All right, so you know this is an attempt to do a tutorial for episode one easy. Uh, some of this stuff are also useful for other difficulties, but this is oriented to easy. So first thing you want to do is to go to change game options playing speed and put fast here that's like the most important thing you should do then you're ready to go time tripping easy so we're going to easy and we see this thing right here uh, this is the tutorial and we want to skip this tutorial because we want to do some inputs at the beginning of the level um, so to skip the tutorial what we do is the game remembers your inputs at the beginning of the episode so what you want to do is you want to press enter here when you press E the difficulty and then immediately press enter again and if you do that there's no tutorial okay I mean there is the tutorial but it's framed perfectly skipped and the good thing is that let's see if I can show you the The, the sheet counter doesn't increase. That's like the most important thing. So sheet counter is right now on zero, as you can see here. And that's very important. We need that number on zero at the beginning of the, the level. So, for level one, what we want is, so tutorial skip, and from here you wanna get keys. So there are two ways to get keys. One if press L, L 12 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then you get keys which is basically uh, to do that what you do is you enter the game uh, enter here and as soon as you press enter you can just mash L and you're gonna get them that's the slow strat the faster strat is doing a tutorial skip into an F4 strat. So you press enter two times and then sheet counter is in zero. And then you do the F4 uh, strat, which is F4, then right, and there you go. It's right two times actually. That was kind of weird that I get it just one. Let me try that again. Oh, no, no, wait. No, I get it. It's right just once, right? You actually can press F4 and right at the same time. Just like that. It's like really, really fast. So yeah, to recap. Level 1. Enter two times. And then, as soon as you see the level loaded, you can press F4 and write at the same time. And the important thing here is that you need to let them go, okay? You need to let write go. Otherwise, it's not gonna work if you hold write, okay? So, after you let it go, you can just press it again to just advance on the level, so... Like that. It's really fast. Like way faster than the F4. I mean the the L strat. So that's what I use. If you don't like that or you think it's too tight, you can just use the L strat, but it's way slower. So let's go back to to level one. So level one is pretty easy. It's like the most standard level. What you do is okay. So we got this. You just go here. You grab this crystal. Then you go here. You got you already have this key, so you are good to go. Then we need to grab this crystal. And to grab this crystal, what we wanted to do is is a bunk boost. Uh, every time uh, August jump, he has an acceleration in, in the jump. Uh, that makes August go a little bit slow on the first frames. That is unless you bunk. 
when you bonk into a ceiling, Obvious goes into like terminal speed immediately. Into falling speed. So what we want to do is grab this crystal with a jump and bonk here. So that is faster than this jump that has acceleration. Okay. So let's kill this bullshit. We want to do something like this. Okay, that's that's a fail of them, you know. Another fail one. Jesus Christ. That one. And of course, grab the crystal in the process. So let's see how that looks. Something like that. So you go here. Oh yeah, I, I forget to get this one. So you get this crystal first. Then open this door. Bonk boost here. Then you jump here. And when you jump up to this platform, you can buffer a jump to jump immediately after that. So you jump and in the air, you can buffer another jump. And you're just gonna get pretty good there. Then you, you can just go up here. Uh, you can just fall from here and you can also hold jump to do another buffers. Just try to get used to buffers. Grab that crystal. Here's a tight jump. Uh, let's kill this. So tight jump is <coughs> when you want to arrive at a, at a specific spot, like on a very precise way so you don't lose any time so if i jump from here uh okay let's see if i jump from here for example you see Oculus is kind of hugging the wall for a while and that's time plus and also like you're you're jumping way too late you jump from here for example that also hugs the second part the second block see on the stair the little stair there so you want to jump about here on the potion so you just get like you barely get up there that's a tight jump and we're gonna do a lot of them through the run then you just go back here's another tight jump if you jump too late you're gonna hug this wall right here if you jump too early you're gonna fall so you want to jump up about here, or even a little bit less. Like after this block, I think you're safe to jump. No, that was... It's around this block, this green block right here. If you jump on the purple one, you're gonna hug the wall. You gotta jump around here, and that's just good. There's a block RNG here, um, a lot of it, but that's just luck. And from here, you just go down and just leave right when you get this this crystal okay so for level two i'm actually gonna open my should i open my splits no i shouldn't uh, but yeah for level two there is no use for any of the bonus glitches on easy so you you just want to go as fast as possible so what you do is you do level one and you just match any key uh, that is not uh, uh, like a control key. Uh, so just by default, I match enter. So you match enter and you immediately go right, which is the way you want to go. Okay. So we go right. You're gonna see this, and we need to get to those platforms. And it's, I know it's very tempting to get this power up, but you don't need it on easy. It's actually a nice visual cue for you to avoid. So, this is a tight jump here. Uh, a lot of people try to jump here, but if you do that, you take more frames to land. So what you should do is jump before getting the, the lightning around here. And you just barely land on this platform. Then you go here. You can buffer this jump also. You can buffer up here for the lever. And then do buffer jumps here also. You should count the platforms up there. 
So we jump here. Press the same. So there's one, two, three platforms, and then you can just go down and grab the key. Then we go here. This is a shortcut. You want to get on the lava and get in this part. And grab these crystals. This is easy, so you're not gonna die. I might die though, because I took extra damage. So I'm gonna do that. Feel good. Then you just let you go down here and grab this crystal. Be sure to fall all the way down. Because if you start like going. So I'm gonna try to show you. Like when you go down here, go straight. Because if you go a little bit to the left, like this. You're gonna miss the crystal because the crystal is around here. So just go straight until you grab the crystal. And then you have these awful jumps. Uh, there is nothing to say about these jumps, they are just awful. You gotta jump as close to the ledge as you can. You don't miss them. It's really awful. They, they are super awful and that can happen also. I hate these jumps. Everyone hates these jumps. They're just so, too precise. Uh, so after you do one of these jumps, you can buffer the next one. And I don't recommend to buffer this one right here. Just react and buffer this one. So you can kind of practice that. Like, do that, buffer this one, do that, buffer this one. And then from here, you want to jump up to here. And to do that, you can't buffer, okay? So when you jump from here, if you want a buffer, you have to stop for at least one frame. Like that. If you try to buffer that, you're gonna fall. Like that. I mean, if you don't stop. You can still buffer it, but you have to stop at least one frame. And then you're good to go here. This is easy, yes. So, don't jump on the lava. Just take the damage. And then go for the key go down there are potions there you don't need them so do a perfect turnaround here ignore the potions ignore the enemies jump here and here just use your instinct to get these jumps uh, just practice them uh, it is possible to get them getting just one you will at a time but it's no big deal you can kind of buffer them I don't quite recommend it. I buffered them a little. But yeah, you just have to practice them. And then get to this corner and get the last crystal. crystal. So now you're, we're gonna match uh, Enter again. And at the beginning of the level, we're just gonna hold up. Uh, because on level 3, um, the easiest strat is to hold up. So I'm gonna show you the easy strat first. Okay. So we hold up for about 0.3 seconds. It's, it's like really not a lot. And we get this rapid shot at the beginning of the level. And it saves a lot of time by destroying this. Okay. So we destroy all those blocks. We activate this lever jump here and here is the one of the most infamous jumps it is really easy to get here from this part like you have a lot of room to jump here but we're trying to jump here from here um, so after a turnaround and that is kind of hard that's one you want to do so practice this turnaround I guess it's kind of precise and if you have trouble with it, what you can do is like go a little bit farther and then jump. Like that's the safe strat. Jet is slower. Like that. The best strat is do a perfect turnaround and jump immediately. But if you turn around too uh, too fast, you're gonna turn around here and you're gonna be short. Then if you go for the hold up. You gotta get this key, and then go here, jump 
here. Uh, by this time in this level, you still have the rabbit, by the way. So you're good to go here. Just destroying these blocks with the rabbit. And you're gonna lose the rabbit about in this part right here. The enemies doesn't matter. This is easy. Then fall down here. You don't have rabbit here, so let's wait for rabbit to go away. You have to match these blocks. And then here there are three levels. Press the one in the middle. You can buffer up from about here. And from here, when you are here, just buffer up to get the next level. Level. Then you have to do a famous jump again. And from here, you gotta jump here. And this is kind of important. Uh, you wanna jump kind of early because you can hug this block here and you don't want to do that so you want to jump before the window around here like you can jump right before the window and you're gonna be okay around there if you jump after the window you might touch the block and lose a couple frames then you jump to this crystal and you can buffer another jump to get immediately here you can jump here and buffer another one. And here's an important part. Um, what you want to do is reach this block here uh, to jump here. Hopefully not this one. Okay, not the third one, but the second. So that's the jump you want to do. And what you, why you want to do that? Because if you do that, you can buffer on this part and when you land on the on the platform uh, you're gonna do an immediate jump and then you can buffer this one and then you can buffer this one so I know that was a lot but <laughs> believe me it's very useful so we're here you don't get it so you want to get the second block, like that, and then you can just buffer everything, and it's really easy once you get everything. I just fall down, so let's go back again, buffer this one, you can buffer this one, take the second block, and buffer everything. Then you can skip the enemies, you don't need to on easy, but it's good to have the muscle memory. I always jump over the jewels, uh, only for lag purposes, but it's not necessary. You don't want to jump on the last ones though. You actually don't need to jump on any. I just think that saves time, but I can't tell if that's true. So you fall here, when you fall on the beat, hold up, so you buffer this one. And as soon as you hear it, you just turn around. You got a long passage here and here. From here, buffer up because on these three levers, you want the first and, th and the last one. So you can buffer up here and then take the other. Okay, this part is kind of important. I'm gonna get rid of these enemies. Okay, so. Uh, there are triggers on this game, there are a lot of them, and you can avoid them, uh, trigger, responder triggers. Uh, so, they're invisible, and they're somewhere in the game. So, what do I, what I use is, I use visual cues, to don't get lost. So, we get the first part, of, uh, like the first set of enemies, and there are treasures here, okay? So, the second set of treasures, what I want to do is, uh, this has some symmetry here, so I, I took the first half of the treasures. What I do is I jump around here in the first half, and if I do that, I successfully avoid the next trigger. That's like the visual cue I use. 
So then there is a second um, set of treasures. And then on the third one, the second one doesn't matter, this one. But this, the third set of treasures, you want to do this, the same trick you do on the first. So we're gonna skip this one, and on the third, we're gonna do the same. And four, nothing. And then we go back. And now we jump on the other half. And that's it. And on this half. And again, that's absolutely useless <laughs> for easy. Uh, but I think it's kind of really good to get used to it. Um, because it's, it's useful for other difficulties. Okay, so now we're gonna fall here and we're gonna buffer to get an insta jump on the lava and we're gonna buffer every single jump here. It's not... well, the later ones we're not gonna buffer. And here, you should be counting. So, let's go back a little bit. So you're gonna fall here. There's one, two platforms, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven is the last platform. And here you don't jump because you're gonna take time to grab the crystal. You wanna do. You wanna take the damage on the lava, okay? That's what you wanna do. So let's go back to this level uh, to show the the hard strat. So the hard strat is. We want to get uh, double bonuses, and uh, we basically want to get keys and rabbit shot. And the fastest way to do that is do a tab right input at the same time, like this. There is rabbit, and then we want to do a tab one, one on the number by to get keys. It's very important that you do it in that order. <laughs> And also you press those keys at the same time okay so as you can see here's the sheet counter if you don't press the, those keys at the same time like let's say I press tab and then right well that works on rapid but then tab and then one that doesn't work okay so you can fail tab right but tab one has to be at the same time. That's very specific, I know. I know it sucks. So what I do is tab right, tab one. And you can do that really fast. Like that. And the good thing, you will only save a couple of seconds here. The only thing you save is that you go into this platform and you go immediately here, avoiding the key. That actually saves around two seconds, or two or three, I don't quite remember. And yeah, the rest of the, of the level is just the same. So let's get to level four. Uh, where's this current level? Okay, so level four. You get on level four and you need keys. Yo, Bexo, how are you doing? <laughs> BRB, okay. <laughs> Thank you for just just lurk. Thank you for showing up. So, level four. Uh, here we want keys. So again, when you start level four, if you're going for the basic strat, just match L. And by the way, when you beat the level, you can just match L immediately. Like, you don't need to press enter from level to level. Just any key that is not a control key, a controller key, will work. L, in particular, will work. So you can do that, or what I do is I, I do F6, F6 left. And that works just fine. <laughs> that is, yeah, like, that is the fastest thing. And what do I do F6 in, instead of F4? Because F4 is for right. So you, you can kind of advance a little bit, you know? But on this level, we start going uh, left, not right. So we want to do F6. And then go left. Grab this crystal. 
go here, jump here, jump here, don't buffer these jumps right here, but you want to buffer this one, the next one, here, so here, when you are about here, just buffer your jump, okay, and if you do that, you're gonna get a free pass to this crystal, you will never fail this, this jump right here, if you buffer it, never ever, so jump here, here, and buffer this one, then buffer this one, here, you gotta take the second and third levers, okay, here you go pass, and press this one and this one, here, jump, okay, a lot of people don't do it, but jump is faster than if you go down, a lot of people just go down, but it's faster to jump, okay, so you have the rabbit here to kill those blocks, then kill these blocks, and you don't need the other rabbit, just grab the crystal, I, I grab the rabbit anyway, but just grab the crystal there, and then jump here, jump here, buffer this one, buffer this one, and on this part, okay, this is kind of important, what you want to do is align yourself in such a way that you jump and you land just on this platform. Okay, so if you jump too early, you're not gonna land on the platform. If you jump too late, uh, you're gonna be on the platform, but you're not gonna be able to jump, probably. Oh no, you can, I can actually do it. So just don't do a very early jump. And from there, what we wanna do is, because you're aligned on this platform, you wanna jump from platform to platform, like this. But you gotta, you gotta time this in such a way that you don't fall into the spikes. Because uh, falling into the spikes will uh, make you lose some time. And this is just timing, there's no way to buffer this. Uh, if you try to buffer your jumps, you're eventually going to fall. So this is what happens with, when you buffer. Buffer, buffer, buffer. You see, I fall after a couple of jumps. So like you can buffer like two jumps or three, but no more. And so what you want to do is, is this. Fuck. Play. You want to jump on reaction. And on the last one, this one, you don't jump. You go down to the spikes. Because if you jump, you're gonna get stuck here. Okay, so you just go, go down the spike. You have to take this damage. It's impossible. You, you can't avoid that. Okay, so let's get a feel good. So let's say you fail that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna fix my HP. <laughs> nice fix it. Yeah. Okay. So let's say you fail this thing, and you just get into the spikes. Well, if you do that, you can just buffer every single jump. You're gonna lose a bunch of time. And of course, as you can see, these buffers can make you jump uh, over the platform. That's because you need a couple of frames to do a, a buffer jump. Um, there is some special landing properties on Oculus that doesn't allow you to do a, a buffer in the platform. But just buffer in the spikes. You're gonna lose some time, but it's better than just adjusting to the platforms. So then just go ahead, uh, fall here. Don't press anything, so you fall straight down. Then, as soon as you grab this crystal, jump and buffer on the lava and take all the damage until this last platform here. You take this. And here, after taking this this crystal, you want to jump very close to this ledge, so you land on this platform, not on the lava, okay? So you go here, land on this, and if you land barely here, uh, you can just buffer all the way back. Buffer, 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 even that one, even this one. And then you just go through all this platforming. 
here just react, don't buffer, because otherwise you can fall. Uh, here's the jump, you can do a perfect turn around there, but it's kind of scary. Uh, you gotta practice this jump. Uh, you already have two keys, so I'm just open this. Uh, these levers uh, is the first and the last one, okay? So when you're from here, just buffer up, press that, and then press the last one. Uh, these are a lot of locks on the keys, so depending on how your lock is going on, you want to react to the blocks disappearing. So if the blocks are not very good, you might want to jump. So let's see how the blocks... Okay, the blocks, blocks work good. Also, if you happen to jump, don't forget the crystal, because you can miss that. <laughs> then just go. Go forward, and you're good to go on this. You're dealing with the with the Wi-Fi phone. Okay, don't worry. So you get to this part. You can do some perfect turnarounds here. They're kind of hard, but that's the fastest way to get up on this part. It's a pixel perfect trick. And if you don't get it, this is what happens. When you don't get a perfect turnaround, you do it too fast. So if you don't feel like doing it, just go a little bit. A little bit extra distance. I tried to get them. Like, that's a perfect turnaround. Okay, level 5 is keys bonus glitch again. So, again, you're here, you just match L. If you don't feel confident. If you feel confident, you match uh, enter. And you press F6. F6 left. Okay, and why left, you might be wondering, because you're actually closer to the left part of this platform. Because we want to get on this platform, okay? So a lot of people go from this part and then here. But you're actually close to this part. Fuck. <laughs> it's very small difference, but you're closer to this part of the platform. Okay? So F6, and as soon as you land on this platform, you want to buffer to get this jump. Get this crystal. And here, jump on this part, so you can buffer twice. So jump here, buffer here, buffer here. And that part is just trivial if you do that. Uh, then these levers, as you notice, I don't really remember the levers. Like how they should be. The only thing I know is which ones I have to press, okay? So this one is first and last. Here's a crystal, and if you do a perfect turnaround here, you won't summon the enemies. By the way, that's important for other difficulties. If you go too far, they're gonna be respawn. I mean spawn. Then you go here, grab this crystal, and a second here. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> I mean, you can you can learn Vexa. You can learn if you want. Thank you, anyways, for seeing. Okay, so we are here, and because this is easy, we don't need to skip these spikes. Okay. So what you want to do is jump around these spikes to get a tight jump here. Okay. So you get up to this platform as fast as possible. Because if you jump too late, you're gonna hug this platform a little bit. So you wanna jump about around here, like on the third spike. So you just line up this platform. Then buffer this, buffer this, buffer everything. And here, this one is very similar to the jump on, on level 3. So, when you go from this part, I kind of want to do a, like a perfect turnaround jump, but it's very hard, like that. Like, that's just practice. Because if you're too slow, uh, you just don't land on the platform. 
So another option is to go around here and from here try to jump. And that's way easier. If you don't feel confident about that. But yeah, that's also pro kind of problematic. But I mean just going farther away on this part. So you, you have like more room to know how to jump. Then buffer this, buffer this, buffer this. Uh, here's important for you to stop a little bit. Otherwise you're gonna go uh, over the crystal. So after this buffer you wanna stop a little, grab the crystal. Then go all the way down here, ignore the enemies. And here, again, first and third. Or first and last. So you go down. What I do is, I go down, I press this one, and then press this one. That's my strat. Because when you're going down, you're going like on this part, and you still don't land on the first one. So, I keep going this way, press this one, and then this one. They're looking. Okay. Nice, nah, fine. Okay, so let's let's continue. Here, you grab this crystal. Uh, you want to jump here, from here, bomb boost to here. Then jump on this platform. Buffer, jump into this platform. And here, you can either go down here, or you can go here and here. And just jump over platform. That's okay. That key is not important. If you miss it, it doesn't matter because you already have it. Then grab the crystal. Never ever in your life grab this potion. Okay? Never, ever. Grab the crystal and turn around. <coughs> then jump, jump. You can drop to the spikes immediately if you want. But I think it's better to have the muscle memory for moderate. So jump until here. Until you see this part with the spikes here. Okay? And on this part, drop down. And here, don't jump until you get here, okay? Don't jump into these platforms, because you need perfect, like pixel perfect side jumps to don't lose time on here. So just take the damage, and here jump, because these are not pixel perfect, okay? These jumps. So jump after this platform. I just buffer everything here. You still have rabbit here. So just get rid of this and buffer up for this one. Then a lot of block RNG here, you're probably gonna lose time. Grab that crystal. Grab that crystal. I used to jump here for no reason. And sometimes I miss it. Grab it, please. <laughs> then just go, go here. Okay, these levers, there are four of them. You want this one and the one in the middle down. So what I do is, I press the one in the middle, and you are closer to this side, as you can see. So I go this side, and press this one. Okay, let's repeat that. Like that. And as soon as you press this one, jump. Because this tear is gonna be on the way. So, press this press and jump and then jump here then here press the lever and jump press the lever and jump press the lever and jump if you had very good RNG there you just saw what happened you don't grab the crystal so you want to be sure that these blocks are not that fast and if they are too fast you should stop here a little bit to grab this crystal that's very important then here there's some tight jumps here, you jump on this block, instead of this one, you jump on the second one, you're gonna get damage. And on this last one, it doesn't matter, just jump on any one, any, any block. I skip the white potions, because I believe they give you lag. And here, you can jump here, and jump here, and that avoids the second damage source. Not important for easy, but important for other difficulties. Okay, level 6, again, keys. So you start matching L. Uh, if you go for 
the easy strat. If you're going for the, uh, the difficult strat, what you want to do is you want to go for a tab. So you don't have to grab this potion. But again, you got you to be very fast. Because otherwise you can just do F6 also and grab the potion if you want. But of course there is some extra walking here. So it's up to preference. You can do L, you can do F6, or you can do tab. I do tab because it's, it's the fastest one. So get the crystal. You don't need that key. Okay, so we are here. We got this crystal. Don't jump here. Take damage because it's easy. Okay. And get rid of this. Press this. Okay, so here in the penguins, just take the damage on the penguins. Here there are four levers. Uh, we want to press the second and the fourth. Okay, so just ignore the penguins, second and fourth. Okay, by this point we still have rabbit. So I'm gonna get rabbit. There you go. Here, jump here and get rid of these things. Okay, then keep uh, shooting. So when you go here, you destroy those blocks from this part, okay? Same with this, you know, they're always destroyed on the next one, okay? Like that. And very something very important about these jumps here, as you can see, you can get stuck here. If you jump too early and lose time, uh, what you wanna do is jump very close to the wall. So you do a bonk boost. So Oculus bonk into this part. And that's very fast. You can do it like hugging the wall like that, or you can do it like one pixel before, like that. That is way more tight because if you failed it, you get that. But if you do it like the one on the wall, you're just good to go. And this is way faster than doing this. Okay. So just go very close to the wall to get those bunkers. Then here, again, easy percent, take the damage on the spikes, don't jump, because it's faster. Press this. And just go ahead. Here there's a tie jump. Uh, there's several ways. What, you, what we want to do is get here. So, easiest way to get it is go straight here, jump, buffer this one. That's the easiest way. The not that easy way is go here, buffer here, and buffer this. Like you barely land here. See, it's on, on this block. And as soon as you buffer here, uh, on this moment, you're gonna get the next jump always. Like that. Okay? And the hardest strat is jump on this block into this part. Why is that hard? Because if you jump here, you're gonna bunk, and you're probably gonna fall here, like that. And when you get this one, just buffer again, and you're gonna get this one. And this is what people call the Pandora jump. Like that. The technique I use for this is, okay, so if you jump here and buffer here, you're not gonna get the jump. You're gonna be too short, so let's try to do that. I'm sure but you can actually buffer it if you go farther away because the buffer input will not work until Oculus uh, it's done with its stair animation it's kind of weird so if you go a little bit farther you can actually get it with a buffer like that but it's very hard like sometimes you even go too far even buffering because you see, uh, August take, it takes its time to, to do a jump when it's doing stairs. So it's more about timing. I don't really recommend the buffering. Or maybe you can buffer it and just adjust your like horizontal position, but it's very hard. It's just timing, it's, it's a hard trick. You go here, jump here, there's another tight jump here. 
If you're too afraid of this one, you can go farther into this block. And it, that is easy. But the optimal block is this one. You gotta try jumping to this. If you jump one more early, you don't get it. So this is the optimal block. Then you go up here. You can destroy the enemies if you want. It doesn't matter, easy. Just take the damage. Go down. Same here. Same thing here. Just jump. And this is the first pillar. You wanna uh, climb the first pillar. Okay? Because we need another golden key. This one. And then just fall. Don't jump. Just fall. This is the second pillar. We don't need the second pillar because we already have the silver key. The third pillar we need it because it has a crystal. Here. And remember, this is easy, so we don't need any of these potions. So the faster way to grab this crystal is jumping from here and then go back. Okay? Some people go here and then jump. But the earlier you jump, the better. So we want to jump around here. And then just drop down. And go all the way back into a part where you do the, the Pandora jump. So here, you're gonna drop down into uh, the pit of the penguins here. And here you can just kill everything. Drop the crystal, warp into here, jump here. Be sure to hit this jump, by the way. And here, this part is kind of hard. Um, this is what Sefi calls a blind jump. Because you're gonna grab this crystal, you, you wanna get, get this jump right here. Which is kind of tight because uh, you don't have a lot of room uh, to do it. But you're gonna get the flash of this crystal. So you're gonna be kind of blind for a little bit. Uh, but actually you have a couple of frames to react um, if you want to react so we're gonna get the crystal and jump so it's not totally blind like the, the flash stops around here which is still enough time to react and then all these jumps are pretty precise you just you just have to get all of them you just have to practice that here, don't kill everything. These uh, levers are the same of the other, considering uh, where you're coming from. You're coming from this direction. You want to hit the second and the fourth one from this direction, okay? And then you want to open the doors, jump here, and press, uh, like, hold left. And if you got good energy, you're gonna get both. Uh, both doors at the same time. If you don't get both, just jump again. Okay, level 7. On easy is just hold up. We only need rapid. Nothing else. Just hold up, drop down, grab this crystal, and go for this shortcut. Perfect turnaround here. You want a buffer here. After this perfect turnaround, buffer to get here. And here, uh, you just you can just take damage. It doesn't matter. And actually, it's better to take damage. Uh, don't do like the precise jumps we do in on moderate. And is it very important to get here, jumping around here? Okay. Don't jump late on this platform because if you jump like here, you're gonna hug this wall, and that's bad. So let's go back. Get rapid. You, you still have rapid here. So you jump, just jump. And then hold uh, the shift button there. Then just go, go ahead here. Here, there is a rapid potion and a warp potion. We want to get the rapid potion because it's more consistent for later blocks. So to get the rapid potion, what you want to do is you want to jump on the second jewel on the first row here. So that's, that was the first one. This is the second one. So here you jump. 
and you never grab this war potion. Okay, so grab this and then go for the war potion. And grab all of this. And here comes a difficult part, um, which is the perfect turnaround. I'm first gonna show you the perfect turnaround. So you wanna go here and immediately turn around on the ledge to open this door. But that's very risky, because if you fail just a little bit, you're gonna grab this potion. And this looks like 15 to 20 seconds. It's very stupid. So let's say you, you are not confident about that. You haven't practiced that enough. What you can do is just drop down here. And when you're dropping about this part, you can just buffer jump. Like you just buffer here to skip the potion. Okay. Then grab this thing. And remember, we still have rapid here. So you grab this crystal and just hold shoot. So we get here. Open this thing, and then just skip everything here. <clears throat> because it's easy, you should be okay on health. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, like, when I do a moderate... If I do a moderate tutorial, I'm probably gonna go into more detail in this, into this part. You can avoid the, the triggers here. But it's not really important for easy. You can even take some lava damage. Then when you arrive here, this nonsense... Yeah, just forget about all this nonsense. The only thing you gotta do is press the last one. That's the only thing you have to remember, okay? Just forget about all of them. The only one that exists is this one. Just press that one. Then here, jump around here. And then buffer everything, so you don't take lava damage. Here, do a tight jump into this part. From around here. And if you're fast enough, you should be able to do a perfect turnaround into here. Without grabbing that potion. If you grab that potion, you were a little bit slow. Okay? That's what you want to do. For easy. You don't need that potion. And then just go to the end. You can do, try to do perfect turnarounds if you want. Like that. And that's level 7. <coughs> then we have level 8. For level 8 we want keys. And F4 uh, strat if you want. Like that. Or L. Then you jump here. Or you can take damage on the lava, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, I'm actually gonna deactivate. No, 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 it's fine. So we jump here, we go up here, get this crystal. Uh, when you fall from here, you can buffer a jump. Wait, I didn't buffer it for some reason. I jump here. Come on. I didn't buffer for some reason, whatever. Let's just go here. Unlock that, grab the crystal, grab the warp potion, come here, grab the other warp potion, and here. Uh, these uh, levers are this one, this one, and this one. Okay, just ignore this one here. This one doesn't matter, the first. So, what you can do here is you can press all of them in a row, like that. If you're like good with your buffers but if you're too bad to do that let's say you're too bad uh, with pressing levers so what you can do is you can like press this one ignore the second and press this you have a lot of time to do that and then when you go back to here you can press this this second one going from from the right part okay that sounds very confusing, right? So let's do it again. So you can see the idea. So we just go here. 
I'm actually gonna go into the next part. So grab this. So you're not confident, so you press this and this, okay? So we're missing this one. Then just jump. This one always press it. So after this jump, buffer. Then this is easy. Don't take this platform. Because you're gonna lose time. Unless you get a frame perfect, I mean pixel perfect tie jump. Don't take it. Take the lava damage, because it's easy. I press the second lever too. Here jump. Shoot up. Kill everything, jump again. We don't want to take extra damage, because we already take some damage on purpose, okay? And this level has some health management at the end. Then take damage again here. That lava doesn't matter, this one does matter. And you're here back, if you're not confident in this, Press this one. Then there's block RNG here, a lot of it. Go here. Here you can kill some enemies. And here there's another jump that has the same properties of level 5 and level 3. Uh, it's a very tight jump. If you do like a perfect turnaround, you just have to practice. You have uh, difficult time, what you can do is just jump from here. No, no, that, that one is not gonna work. Jump from here, I think, on this part. Yeah, that one always works. You are not confident enough on your turnarounds. Like, you're never gonna fail from this part, but you might fail this one and do that, you know? But the fastest one is this one, from this block. So we get this crystal, and then we go here. Okay. So let's kill all this nonsense. Ignore what I'm doing right now. It's very important. And that's it. So levers, 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 levers. Okay, so you you go here. The first set set of levers is first. So you press this one and jump immediately, okay? So we're here, buffer and jump immediately. And then you want to press this too. And you can buffer from here. And then press the other. The second set is second and fourth. So you go here, press this one, jump immediately, and press this one. And this one is first, second, and fourth. So from here, buffer this, press this jump, and then press the last one. This is easy, so ignore that potion. Just jump here. And when you jump here, hold, uh, hold left, and you can buffer this jump right here. So you don't have to calculate anything. So jump here, buffer, and you're gonna get that jump automatically. And then here, you should be... You should have... How many? 8. 32, I guess? How many are these? I just forget them. Is it 8 or 9? I think it's 9. Can you believe it? World Record Holder just forgot this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you need at least 40 HP to survive that. If you have less than 40, you gotta do some math on how many you are you have to heal on easy. Every of those do four damage. So there you have it. <coughs> okay, last level. Let's go for the easy strat first. So easy strat is keys. Here, you press L 12 times and you get the keys. And the harder strat is tab, so you get rapid also. And this is super amazing because you're gonna save a ton of time on the blocks. So I'm gonna use this one. Okay, you go here, you ignore this part, okay? Just jump over here. Okay, that's very important. We go all the way here. 
ignore everything into the blocks. Ah, destroy the blocks. Yeah, that was a very bad destruction. You wanna destroy the blocks from about the third one. Like this. So this is fair first from where you're coming, first, third, and fourth. Then here you have rabbit for this month. You grab this, don't grab the key, jump immediately. You already have the key. So grab it, jump it. Then here you still have rabbit, by the way. So because you still have rabbit, you're able to do this. Okay. Then go here, do this, jump here. This is also kind of a tight jump. Sometimes it can give you some trouble. Also these blocks, sometimes they are too slow appearing. You just go here. And now we go down here, okay? And this is the most difficult part of the level. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. We skip this monk and get here. You wanna get a little bit farther so those blocks disappear. Then go back around here without touching the monk. Then jump here. And when you are here, you wanna jump to this part. Okay? And as you see, this monk spawned. So that's bad, right? We just spawned that monk. But we can despawn it by going to talk to Terrorism. Okay? You just talk to Terrorism. And the monk is, is gone. Okay. And that's it. And Ter Terxin doesn't have anything to deal with this. It, this is just a visual cue. This is like the good distance you need to make this monk disappear. Okay. And now, so you, you went here, right? And then from here you jump here and you just skip the monk. This monk uh, will not attack you. I'm gonna kill the one down here. I'm not sorry, okay. So, uh, if you jump late on this one, like here, uh, the monk won't spawn, but you are gonna hog the wall. If you, long, you jump very early, the monk will spawn, but you still have enough time to run. Okay? Let's let's do this again because there's something I something else I want to show you, which is the fast harder sweat. So this is how it should look. Except for that. Ah, you can buffer this one by the way. After jumping here, here you can buffer uh, the the jump on the platform. So it makes it easier. Like that. Okay. So we go down here. There is a way to to make the next monk here, this one, don't spawn on this jump. But it's very hard. So to do that, we kinda get need to get rid of both. Okay, so we, we're here. spawn this one actually let, let's not spawn uh, you kind of have to do a buffer turn around jump here it didn't work that time it's very precise so you're here there it is okay that's the one. And it has to be through this part, okay? You can't like jump to this part. No, actually you can. So that's like the godlike strat. So the thing is that the trigger is is like here. Here and here. So we need to we need obvious to jump around this part and then turn here 
But yeah, it's very hard because you're dealing with this fucker here. And if you fail the jump, you're probably gonna die on this fucker. There it is, okay? So again, if you fail this, just go talk to Derek. It's actually, you just need to go into this part, not actually this far away. But that's what you wanna get, so... Like that. Or even that, that one is also very good. He's still there. Yeah, he's still there. Well, whatever, but those are like the things you can do. Uh, but on anyway, you don't ever need to kill this monk ever, okay? That's what is important. There are faster ways to skip it, slower ways to skip it, but you never have to kill it, okay? Then just go here, take the damage. Just go straight here, also take every damage, it doesn't matter. Here, tight jump here if you want. Ignore this lever. Press the second one, this, and press the third. And as soon as you press the third, you can jump. And if you're too scared and you didn't get that jump, just go for a second one, a second try. But ideally, you want to press the lever and get, get up there. Like that. And here you have to be pretty close, but not that close because you're gonna die. Right? Let's go again. And yeah, this is the hardest level. Absolutely. Remember, just ignore these two monks. Here. Got here. Ignore that one. Press this one. Press this one and jump. If you miss that one, you can just do this. And here, being very close, just match. There's no other way to kill it. Okay, so there is that, and then press the last one. Tight jump here. If you jump too late, you're gonna hog this part. If you jump too early, you're not gonna make it. So try to time your, your jump here to just try to land there. Same stuff here, okay? You can't buffer, buffer this one. If you try to buffer it, you're not gonna make it. So you have to time it. Then here, please jump. A lot of people don't do it. Most of the people just let them down here. No, no. you jump here, okay? And then just go straight, straight, straight. Ignore that monk. That monk sucks, okay? You don't need to kill it. Never. And here, you wanna do uh, rabbit stops, which is walking till here and kill it, and then until here. And uh, there you go. That's it for episode one. Easy. Good thing about the last level is that I think, not totally sure, but I think it's the same strat for every difficulty, actually. So that's kind of pretty nice. So yeah, that was the tutorial for episode one. Easy. I might do more tutorials in the future, but, but for now I'm kind of cool with this one. I don't know how long this was, probably a lot, but yeah, that was it, thank you for watching.